Remember, the Yetzirah is always showing you what's wrong with your life. Look what, look what people are not doing for you. Look what's missing in your life. Look at all the things that are happening in your life that are not going in your order. That's what the Yetzirah does. He's in charge of showing you what's wrong. Because what, it was, what is a legal, an ego always feels a lack. The soul feels abundant. The ego, I'm lacking this, I'm lacking this, I'm lacking this. It's not easy, guys. This is not an easy thing. But once you catch yourself in the state and you capture those days, you capture those thoughts, then Hashem has great pleasure from you. Because you humbled yourself. And then you can have a bad hour, not a bad day. Or a bad week. Imagine I finally found after a month my problem. Wow, you just lost February, brother. You're lucky it was a short month. You lost April and March. You lost 2017. Get back your time. Get back your time by humbling ourselves. Looking where our distortions, looking where our expectations are wrong, looking at our humbling ourselves, humility, this is the only way to capture your thoughts. The first two letters of Hashem's name is yud K. That represents 15, correct? That means the first yud K represents Hashem. We represent, we, we, can, we can work with the Vav K. The Vav is our Midot, right? The last He is Amuna. But the first He belongs to Hashem. So what happens when a person wants to take the Yurke for himself? You know what he is? It's Gematria 15, Gematria Gava, arrogant. So when there's arrogance, there's a fall, a very, very big one. You don't want to be there to see it. So again, how do we humble ourselves? Gratitude. Thank you, thank you, Hashem. No vision boards, gratitude boards. Once you get the gratitude board, then you can work on the vision board. All right.